GSD. I'm not super excited about it, but last time it had a breakout here, had a big move, about 32%, pretty good breakout. Um, you know, it's not. I'm not super excited about it. VRX, also one I'm watching, not super excited about it. I'm probably gonna move these to another watch list. These are not very actionable yet. I'm basically looking for a big green candle with high volume. EVBG, recent IPO, these things can move. Looking for some kind of breakout over 19, low 19s area, low mid 19s area with volume. Momo, again, looking for a breakout. Not super excited about it. Hopefully, it goes sideways for another three to five days. Orex had a Nice little run, now been going sideways, hopefully it can go sideways a few more days so this 20 day moving average can catch up to the price. And you know, this thing could break, if it breaks out, could break out, go to 455, very explosive kind of a stock, you know, beaten down, small cap biotechs have been hot past few months, CRK, oil gas sector. Also hugely beaten down stock. Let's look at the weekly chart. You know, this thing was a $149 stock just two years ago. I think good move. You know, just a year ago this thing was a $20 stock. So you know it already had a nice move. 200 percent from the lows in August or May, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's nice and tight, just you know, riding on these moving averages, resting. You know, volume is low, it looks very good. I think this thing has a range expansion of volume. This thing can make a big move. It had made some big moves, you know, 25 percent, 25 percent. This thing could easily do 20 30 percent move. Excel, I'm looking at it. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's ready yet. It's getting tight now, but again, I think the 20 and 50 need to catch up a little bit, preferably another three to five days. DNR, it is ready. Uh, it just need a needs a range expansion. Very nice tight flag. Looks very, very good. And it's liquid, very liquid. You can very easily do 30, 50, you know, even 100,000 shares on this thing. I probably won't do more than 30, maybe 40, uh, and maybe use up like a 10 cent stop or something like that. WTI, another oil and gas, it is a little bit extended, I'm not super excited about it. I did trade it here, on this breakout here, had a pretty decent trade, sold on way up, then I got stopped out on some when it started fading back. NGVT. Recent IPO looks good, just resting on a 50 day, 20 day, 10 day, everything is getting very tight here. Could have another leg. Not very excited about it since it's already had a few runs, you know, run here, a run here, a run here. But, you know, if it can tighten up another couple of days and then break out, I can't just ignore it. X, very good looking, getting tight on the 50 day, had a big run. The sector has been hot, steel sector. Steel has been weak for years and years. Here it had a big bull run, due to, mostly due to China. And now, now the demand may come from the US with the Trump infrastructure investments and things like that. GTLS looks good. Good looking flag chart, a little bit thin. The 50 day can catch up a few more days would be great. AFI, yeah, looks good. Rel relatively recent IPO. Again, I think 50 day needs to catch up a little bit more. KNSL, another recent IPO, looks good. ATW um, had a big run. Again, with these oil and gas names, they all break out at the same time. Sino, actually, I'm gonna remove it from my watch list, I'm gonna set an alert here. Um, so one of these days, if one wants to go another run, I'll be alerted. Looks good, had a big run a couple of months ago and it may have just as well break down, you know, these shippers, they were up on. They're all near bankruptcy and another shipper ran on nothing, just pure momentum. But it can run again. I, I traded it 
here on the long side i did trade it short here and here this one had a big run getting tight not ready yet necessarily i think I'm, I'm, i think i'll just set an alert time gn looks good a seeking alpha article sp started this run ran up like 60 percent i was been going sideways hopefully the 20 day will catch up in the next few days and then go another run mankind this is almost definite bankruptcy next within a year or so i think but this thing you know has been a known almost definite bankruptcy for a while it doesn't mean it can't run you know here it went up 200 percent this has been a known bankruptcy for years and years and this thing can have big runs just gotta be careful with size in case they do something bad overnight apri just looking at it recent momentum stock maybe there will be a trade long short i don't know tnx had a nice breakout on volume here kind of started running into expected data which wasn't obviously good got down a lot rsb had a little bit of ipo breakout very thin probably that's why i passed on it didn't have any follow through this one gapped up had some had some follow through actually had some really nice follow through risk reward wise this could have been a very good trade actually this one had a really good bottom bounce very good follow through very good breakout here let's look at the 60 minute short uh, had decent follow through i guess oh it's such a slow stock adr is 1.06 mm. oh yeah okay it was only a three percent move okay <laughs> just that's probably why i passed on it it was very low range stock Ooh, this one had sick follow through look at that 70 percent move thin stock though couldn't buy a lot i mean ooh, this one ooh, ooh, ooh. took out this or actually didn't really take out this long bottoming range but look at the follow through it just went straight up super good breakout look at the volume really really good looking but this one had some and let's see the opening range highs were at i'm gonna put it here okay so opening range highs were here at 1425 risk would have been like 30.95 so 30 cent stock uh stop and this thing went up like three bucks four bucks or something <laughs> this one uh yeah had it gone up a little bit more on this day, on this day here, let's see, on this day, I would have bought it. And it was this day I actually broke the range, but it felt like it was up two days in a row, so I, I passed on it. Felt like it, was sh uh, like it would have been a chase, but man, <laughs> oh boy, what a move, straight up. Now, this one, I do remember oh boy another one of these that's just went straight up but i passed on it for some reason like sometimes i pass on trades because i already i mean a lot of stuff or because there is like expected news like data coming out any week when it comes to this biotech sometimes i know there is some data scheduled and then i pass on those because you know in case they release the data early or something it's a bit too dangerous and sometimes they only have earnings in a couple of days then i also pass on them so there's many reasons i pass on breakouts but usually because i'm already in a lot of stuff or because i think the market is very bad oh this one i traded i remember that one yep i took a loss on it so <clears throat> had a big run uh from early 2016 like really didn't have any pullbacks it every time it bounced off the 20 and the 50 day moving average so this was the first test of the 100 day so it tested rested here for a few days let's look at the 60 minute chart i remember this one it looked so good so i bought it here like uh, i think i bought it high 20s or something 2080s or something like that or, or maybe tw low 21s i don't remember it looked great looked great and it just sold off and stopped me out the next day now I, yeah, just stopped me out here at 20, I think I got stopped out a few pennies off the lows, and then it just <laughs> straight up, straight
straight up, straight up, straight up. Uh, there was an opportunity to get back in on this gap up day. I think I had some news or something, I don't remember. Or the whole sector was strong. The whole sector gapped up, so there was an opportunity to get back in, but I didn't. Oh yeah, this one I remember too. Almost traded it. But it just didn't look like a great setup. It was still in the range, and I usually like to buy stocks that break out of a range. This one was just still inside the range. The same thing with SHOP on this day. It's just gone up a little bit more that day. I would have bought it, but it kind of broke out inside of the range. So, yeah, there was a sector breakout. Tech broke out. This GGP looked also great on that day. Also pulled back the next day, but didn't retrace as much of the move as Tech did. Oh, Yandex, I almost bought this one. It's one of those I just... Why didn't I buy it? Oh, I think I was waiting for dips on it, if I remember correctly. Well, I don't remember, actually. I, I was watching it initially, but then I dropped the ball on it, and when I saw it later in the day, it was, like, way higher. I didn't want to chase it. But, man, what a great breakout. Like, this, this is just... Oh, this is just so textbook. As initial leg up. So it has shorter momentum. Goes sideways. Just rested on the 20 day moving average and had a breakout on volume. Just textbook chart. Now this one I did trade. But it has some kind of sick uh, fade off uh, out of the gate one of those days. It just stopped me out for a loss. And then it just bounced right back like this dip didn't last more than maybe I don't know 10-15 minutes <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was all about and then it was just back into the range good breakout IPO very good follow through a pretty good looking breakout very strong stock kind of a tight range day before but oh this one I passed on just because it was an upgrade and uh, upgrades tend to not have great follow through, but this is a very fast growing stock. Just because it was an upgrade, I didn't buy it. If there had been no news on it, I would have been buying it. That's how my mind works. This one was a good setup, really good setup. Wow, wow, this is just five star. Actually, it looked pretty good. High lows all the way and broke out on volume wasn't really tight, it was had a wide range uh, day the day before, so that's why I passed on it. But I had, some, I had a breakout on volume that had good follow through. Wow, 35%. But on the other hand, it was very thin. And this is actually a very fast growing stock. Another thin one, gapped up, had some great follow through. And usually these kind of gap up stocks, when I buy them, I buy them on the open range highs. And that's usually like the first 30 minute highs but sometimes I do them earlier maybe the first 5 or 10 or 15 minute highs depends on the volume and a lot of factors this one I've been talking about this one before in one of my videos I try to get in on a dip it did dip to 10.06 midday that's low as it went and I think I had my bids at 10 bucks so I was literally a few cents from getting filled, and this thing doubled in a few days. Just an insane mover.